Okay, welcome back to the next part of the video. And in this particular uh, set of videos, I'm doing a, I'm doing the challenge number three. This challenge comes with Orbiter 2010. If you look in your uh, 2010 folder, there's a subfolder called challenges. And this again is challenge number three. In the last video, we did the, um, the transfer from the Earth out to the moon. Uh, but here we're at the halfway point and we're doing a mid-course correction. And what I wanted to try in this in this one is to, instead of getting out to the moon and then getting into orbit and rendezvousing with the Luna wheel, I want to try to go just straight to the Luna wheel just so that I arrive at the moon. And when I do my braking burn at the moon, then the Luna wheel is right there next to it. So we pretty well got that set up. We're going to... According to Transex, we're going to arrive 25 kilometers from the Luna Wheel. But I know that, uh, you know, again, I know Transex lies, and it, this number won't be very accurate till we are much closer to the moon. So for now, we're just going to warp time forward and get a bit closer. We're only now at the point where the moon is a 0.01 gravitational influence. So let's just warp time forward for a while, maybe get out to a point. 3.0 or something, and then we'll see about doing another mid-course correction. Yeah, you can see how, how inaccurate that is. Let me do something else, too. Let me bring up a line plane MFD, reference the moon, and target the Luna wheel. That way I can see if I'm crossing over a node or not, and I will be, it looks like. So that'll be that'll be a good time to do any uh, any other mid-course correction that I want to do. Actually, let me think about that. That's not right. I, I might be thinking incorrectly on that. Let me forget about that for now. And let's just get closer to the moon. Uh, the closer we get to the moon, the less um, inaccuracy we have in our MFDs. So hopefully by the time we get, you know, to 0 0.30 or something like that, then we can update, uh, do a bit of an, uh, do another maneuver here and get this number lower, and have it be somewhat accurate. Uh, we're down to point. Let's go to 0 0.40. I think that's when we get into the moon's SOI. Yeah, about like that. And now let's do a maneuver here. Actually, let me go out to 4.4 four or something, just get a little bit closer yet, just to make sure that we're well inside the moon's SOI. All right, 0.45. Now, maneuver mode on. Do update. And Probably not prograde at this point, so let's actually reset that. And let's uh, reset the date real quick and let's move it forward. So instead of 3281, we'll go to 32, or rather 33, yeah, something like that. That should give us enough time to set this up. Probably outward is my guess, gonna be the better better variable. That's six meters, eight meters a second. And that's getting us really close. Down to 45 kilometers. A bit of plane change probably at this point would help. If you're hearing car doors and other noises, I apologize for that. It's a really, really nice day out today. So I've got uh, the front door open and I've got windows open. So you might hear house, various noises from the neighbors. But it's just too darn nice to have the house shut up. Let's get outward again. Yeah, that's got us all the way there. To whatever extent it holds. 
touch of plane change now, bring it the rest of the way in, there we are. Let's go the other way. Okay, now VAR, or VW over to target. Rotation. 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 So I'm heads up, basically. So I need to pitch down and to the right, if I understand all this green X nonsense correctly. You would think after three and a half years of being an Orbanaut that I would actually understand how that green X works, but it always seems counterintuitive and backwards to me. I know how to figure it out if I'm just looking at prograde and all that, but you see here it's coming around and it's just it's backwards. Well, maybe not. Maybe okay. I guess it did go the way I thought it was supposed to. Now I should have to pitch down to bring it up. I mean that's that part I've always been able to do correctly. But it's just once it gets out to the border, the edge, it always seems like it's backwards to me. But I think I might have it figured out now. And I think the guy that told me was Neon Style. I think that's his handle. Okay, so we are all lined up. Let's uh, fast forward time here. Let's, let's bring up Burn Time Calculator and let it handle the burn. DV 15.56. Curious how accurate that is. That number, I mean 15.56, because I know when you press the enter button it has a different number, but I won't be able to get it exactly because this is a combination of three different variables. Warping time four, getting closer to the time to begin the burn. We're basically there. And burning. Translation. VW to maneuver and off. Rotation. Translation. And a little bit of translation to uh, get the closest approach closer to the closer to zero. Okay, now. Now I'll warp time forward, and I'll probably have to do another update because I don't believe that that will hold right there at a, you know, just a few hundred meters. So let's go out to, yeah, you can see it's drifting already. Okay, let's do another mid-course. Uh, what do we have here? Projection, ship, distance, PEA, APA, how far from periapsis? Okay. And again, we will start by resetting the date and then bumping it forward. So instead of 5277, about 5300 should be good. That'll give me time to set everything up. It's close enough. And a little bit of outward. That's the wrong way. Okay, that's kind of the low point right around there. And probably a bit of plane change. And a little bit of outward again, just to because once you adjust the plane change, it can help to go back to outward and bring it down even more. Okay, somewhere around here and back over to plane change. Okay, now we probably need to start working with a little bit of prograde. Although, no, nope, looks like we'll get it with just outward and plane change. And 
and that has us right there next to the space station within just a couple hundred meters that's fine do a do an update view the target now I am still heads up green X is here so I basically just need to pitch down I believe <sighs> unbelievable I might as well just start saying whatever I think then do the opposite because it'll be right <laughs> unbelievable And I'll do the burn manually. I don't have time to set up burn time calculator. So coming up on the burn in five seconds. Three, two, one, and burning. Translation. Overshot that by a half a meter per second. That's pretty significant considering how delicate this rendezvous is. So maneuver mode off. And we'll tap translation a little bit to see what we can get. Close enough. Okay, now, warp time forward till we are at the Luna wheel, basically. Let's uh, set up comm now, though. So the transponder is 132.70. And docking port one or two. So 136 and 13620. I'll set them both up that way. They're both available. So 136 and 13620. That way we can dock on either one, depending, you know, which side of the Luna wheel happens to be facing us when we get there. So let's switch over to dock HUD. And warp time forward, and uh, we'll just watch the closest approach. If it gets out of hand, I'll have to stop and do a bit more of a, a correction. Oh my 